A conditional distribution of a variable describes the values of that variable among individuals who have a specific value of another variable, meaning they satisfy a particular condition. Let's go through a couple examples of calculating conditional distributions with percentages. This two-way table summarizes the results of a random sample of 790 college students from universities in Canada and the United States who were asked about their preferred extracurricular activities. We can see See the United States choices in this column and the Canadian students choices in this column. We are asked to find the conditional distribution of extracurricular preference among students from the United States and from Canada. Thus the condition would be that a student is from the United States and then we'd have another conditional distribution for the condition that a student is from Canada. This single column representing the United States students choices can be viewed as a conditional distribution distribution. For example, the number of students who said they prefer to join a sports team is 205, but the number of students who said they prefer to join a sports team given that the student is from the United States, is 120. So this is the conditional distribution for extracurricular preference, given that a student is from the United States. But typically with conditional distributions, we prefer to have percents. So let's look at those calculations. So these are the conditional distributions of extracurricular preference among United States students and separately among Canadian students. Again, since the country of origin has two possible Possible values, there are two conditional distributions. Here in the conditional distribution for the United States students, we see those raw counts, and then we see the percentages. So this percent, for example, is 120 divided by 420. This means that 28.6% of United States students chose joining a sports team as their preferred extracurricular activity. As another example, if we look at the conditional distribution for the Canadian students, this percent, 18.9%, is calculated by taking 70 and dividing it by 370. When we're looking at the conditional distribution of Canadian students, our total number of students is 370, the number of Canadian students, which is why we divide 70 by 370 to get that percentage. 18.9% of Canadian students said they would prefer to engage in community service. So in a conditional distribution, the condition will change what we view as the total. If we asked what percent of students students preferred to join a sports team, we'd have to take 205 and divide it by 790. But if it's given that the student must be from the United States, then to satisfy that condition, we're looking at these 420 students. And so that would be our new total. And that's how we calculate these percentages. Just like for the Canadian distribution, we use 370 as the total to get those percentages. Here's another example you can try to make sure you understand. We have the results of a survey here conducted to understand the preference for different types of fruit among three age groups, children, adults, and seniors. And we're asked to find the conditional distribution of fruit preference among the three age groups. So in this case, the conditional variable of age group has three values, children, adults, and seniors. Hence, there are three conditional distributions. Again, we can view these raw counts as conditional distributions. However, we really want to calculate the percentages. I'll put the solution on screen now. Here those solutions are the conditional distributions for children, adults, and for seniors. Let's take a closer look at some of these quickly to see how they're computed. We see 41.7% of children said they preferred apples. We find that by taking the number of children who prefer apples, 25, and then we're looking at the conditional distribution for children. So the total is just the number of children, 60. So we do 25 divided by 60. Just like to get 50%, we take the number of children who said they prefer bananas, 30, and divide by the total number of children, 60. Looking at the distribution for seniors, when we're looking at this, the total is all of the seniors. So for example, 40%, the percent of seniors that preferred bananas, is found by taking 20 and dividing by the total number of seniors, which is 50. That, of course, is how we get 40%. Note that in each conditional distribution, the percents add to 100, because if we're looking at the conditional distribution for children, all of the children make up all of the people. If we're looking at the conditional distribution for adults, 
all of the adults make up all of the people. So that's how to calculate a conditional distribution. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over conditional distributions in more detail if you want to learn more. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Adios.